hi good evening hello hi wilfredo hola hola can you hear me okay hi caro yes teacher hello hi. how are you great how are you good pretty good excellent that's good to hear gabriel hi hi gabriel Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you again, Gabriel. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, todavía sigue lloviendo un poquito acá, pero... Ok. Ya mejorando. Ah, ok, Gabriel. Está bien. Perfecto. Very nice. Thank you. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. No sé qué está trabajando. Very good. Hi, William. Carla. Hi, teacher. Hello. Kenya, Ivania, and Maylin. Very good, Veronica. Very good. A ver, Wilfredo and Willy. Pase el reporte. Espero que les puedan ayudar pronto, ¿ok? Con lo de la plataforma. Yes, teacher. Ya, ya, ya empecé, teacher, ya con, la, ah, con las tareas. All right, excellent. Wilfredo, usted pudo. Sí, teacher, gracias. Ok, all right, very good. Excellent, guys. Very nice. Hi, Kenya. Yeah. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys. So yesterday we were talking a little bit about, oops, we were talking a little bit about have to, has to. Yes, fue al inicio de la clase. All right. We did some oral practice. So to review, I'm going to ask you now some questions using have to or has to. And I want you to answer those questions to me, all right? Just give me one second. I need to get that out for you. Uh, let me see. It's here. Let me just get it out. All right, let's see here. Um, I'm going to ask some questions to any of you. And the idea is for us to practice together. All right. So just to warm up, and then we can continue with the rest of what we were talking about yesterday. Just give me a second. All right. Let's see. Um, who do I have today with me? Um, Xiomara. Xiomara, why do people have to go to work? They have to work. They have. They have to work. Because they need the money. Yeah, very good. Yes. <laughs> because we need the money, right? Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Willie. Um what do you have to do next week, Willie? Hello, teacher. Repeat, please. Yes. I'll help you. Yes. What do you have to do next week? Um, I had to visit my family. Oh, you have to visit your family. Okay, very yes, nice. My, my uncle and my aunt. Okay, very nice. Nice. Very good. Let's see. Wilfredo, what do you have to do in the morning, Wilfredo? What do you have to do in the morning? Uh, I have to work. Okay. <laughs> yes, you have to work. Very good. All right. Let's see, Carito. Carito, you know what, Caro? I want to become rich. I want to have a lot of money, Caro. What do I have to do? <laughs> Get a sugar daddy, teacher. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, Caro, very good. Tomar en cuenta. Okay. <laughs> uh, you have... <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's okay. You have to work... Uh, pretty hard you have to um, uh, don't drink you have to uh, wake up early in the morning you have to be, be disciplined 
Okay. Disciplined. You have to be disciplined. All right. Ahora, pero, but if I wake up in the morning, I am disciplined. I work very hard, but I'm not rich, Caro. <laughs> we need a sugar daddy, teacher. You're right. I think you're right. That's the best, the best way to yes. be rich. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Let's see. Carlos Eduardo. Hi, teacher. Hello. Carlos Eduardo, what do you have to do to improve your English? What do you have to do to improve your English? Do you have any ideas? Um, he perdido mis apuntes. <laughs> Había estudiado. Okay, that's okay. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. No teacher. Okay, that's okay. It, all right, that's fine. A ver. Uh, Chavez, okay. what do you have to do to improve your English? Okay, este, check my notes after class. Okay. Maybe, maybe uh, the next day or or after class. Okay. All right, very nice. Okay. All right, let's see. What about Yvette? Yvette? Oh, yes. Okay, estoy viendo aquí, Yvette. A ver. Um, if you want to be happy, Yvette, what do you have to do? Repeat, please, teacher. If you want to be happy, what do you have to do? Mm, I start, um, I do have eating. Uh -huh. um, I do have um, um, see, see TV. Okay. No, see, see yeah, TV. Yeah. Yes. Um, I have to my family. Ah, oh, you have to be with your family. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Okay. The last okay. one. Thank you, Yvette. Very nice. A yes. ver, eh, Gabri uh, Gabriel. Vamos a ver, Gabriel. Estamos con el uso del have to, que es obligaciones, tengo que. ¿Verdad? All right. Le voy a hacer la pregunta. Vamos a ver. Ay, qué rico, Gabriel. Por Dios, ¿qué está? Um... Hmm. Okay, what do you have to do in the afternoon? What do you have to do in the afternoon, Gabriel? Um, what do you have? What do you have to do in the afternoon? Sí, ¿qué tiene que hacer en la tarde? Have to es tener que. Ajá, en las tardes. What do you have to do in the afternoon? La respuesta empezaría a abrir con I have to. Y luego la actividad que usted I, tiene que realizar. Uh -huh. I have. Um, I have to. Los. ¿Cómo se dice? Tú. Eh, factory. Algo así como en las tardes me toca cerrar las puertas. Ah, uh, you have to close the factory. Yes, you have to close or shut down the factory. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's an obligation. ¿Verdad? No, yeah. puede, no puede dejarlo abierto. <laughs> you yes. have to, Gabriel. Sí. My responsibility. Yes, it's your responsibility. Yes, of course. Very good. Okay, Gabriel. Excellent. Okay, guys. Very good. So that was a little warm up with the have to and has to. Acuérdese que... Cuando usamos el have to ya no es tener, ¿verdad? De posesión. All right, you say I have a pen, I have a notebook, I have a car, I have a boyfriend, I have two children. 
Ese es have. Pero cuando usted le pone la partícula to, I have to, el significado cambia y es tengo que de una obligación. Si en el caso usted no tiene que, usted dice I don't have to. En el caso de Gabriel, por ejemplo, él no tiene que cerrar las puertas de la fábrica, sino otro compañero, entonces diría I don't have to close the doors or the gates of the factory. I don't have to. Pero en el caso de él, he has to. ¿Verdad? Acuérdese que have to es for I, you, we, they. And has to is for he, she, it. ¿Ok? Ayer igual veíamos eh, por Luis que nos preguntaba cómo se hacían las preguntas. Entonces yo le dijera, por ejemplo, um, Stephanie Michelle, do you have to paint your house on the weekend? Mm, uh, I don't have. I don't have to, ¿verdad? Very good. Acuérdense que tenemos, yes, tenemos dos opciones. Yo le digo, do you have to paint your house? Usted me dice, yes, I do, en el caso que sí. O me puede decir, yes, I have to. Pero tenemos que poner el to. No lo podemos dejar nada más con yes, I have. Porque el yes, I have is the short answer for present perfect. Y no hemos llegado a ese tiempo todavía. All right. Entonces, do you have to paint your house? Yes, I do. Or yes, I have to. ¿Me entienden con eso? ¿Me van siguiendo con eso? Yes? Yes. Thank All right. You. Yeah. Okay, very good. Vamos a ver, Rosalina. Do you have to? Uh, do you have to plan next year's games? Mm. Do you have to plan next Pan American games? Yes, I have to practice the English every day with the Foreign people come to El Salvador. Yes. All right. So you see, yeah, very good. So you say, yes, I have to, or yes, I have to. And then, usted lo, thank you, Rosalina. Usted puede hacer una respuesta más larga, ¿verdad? Yes, uh -huh. I have to plan the games for next year, blah, blah, blah. Esto está perfecto. O solo en corto, yes, I do, or yes, I have to. Solo okay. lo que no podemos hacer, lo cual no hizo usted, Rosalina, súper bien, es decir, yes, I have. ¿Verdad? Si le va, lo va a contestar con a yes, I have, tiene que ponerle el to. Yes, I have to. ¿Ok? okay. Excelente, Rosalina. Okay. Very good. Oscar okay. Armando, do you have to do you have to learn English? Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have to. Yes, I have to. Very good. Yes, I have to. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, Chavez, do you have to sleep late today? Yes, I have to. Sir. Yes, I have to. ¿verdad? Ese tú tiene que ir. Yes, right? I, have yes I have to. All right. Very good. No se les olvide. Yes, I have to. Y en el caso que fuera negativo, Caro, si yo le digo, por ejemplo, Caro, do you have to um, travel next week? Y the answer is no, Caro. En corto, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Caro o Carlos? Caro. Carolina. Yo. Ok. <laughs> okay. Uh, can, could you repeat me, please? Yes. The, the, the yeah. phrases. Do you have to travel next week? No. I don't have to. Excellent. No, I don't have to. Very good. No, I don't have to, or no, I don't, or no, I don't have to travel next week. Esa es la más larga, all right? But yeah, that's how it is. Aunque sea negativa, usando el don't, tiene que poner el to. I don't have to, okay? Si usted solo contesta, I don't have, no es nada, all right? Realmente no me está contestando properly. Es I don't have to. De acuerdo. Yes. All right. Questions, guys, about have to and has to. Es como el repaso del have to, has to. Y luego empezamos con el can, que fue lo, con lo que cerramos ayer. Any questions about that? All right. Entonces, I'm going to take attendance. En lo que yo estoy taking attendance, I want you to think 
todos y todas. One question. For me, you seem do you have to? All right, you say, Jessica, do you have to? Teacher, do you have to? Whatever you want, pero es hacia mí. All right, do it right now, no quiero tomar asistencia. <clears throat> A ver, Carlos Eduardo Artiga de Ríos. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Mármol. Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Ok, uh, Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Michelle Zúñiga Hueso. Present. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ivania Yamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Present. Thank you. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Mardoqueo Ramírez Pérez. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Araceli Ayala Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Present teacher. Great, thank you. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. Okay, Carlos Josué Chavez. Yes, thank you. Carla Lizette Garcia Lemos. Present teacher. Great, thank you. And Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Great, thank you. Okay, ready guys? I think you had enough time. Volunteers, who's going to ask me the first question? Uh-huh. Me teacher. No, si está bien, pero la va. Yes, Willie. All right. Veamos. Eh, can you have to work on Sunday? Do I have to work on Sunday? No, I don't have to. <laughs> no, I don't have to. Thank you. All right, Oscar. Then it's the, after Oscar is Carolina. Very good, Oscar. You have to teach during the day? Yes, I have to teach many classes during the day. University oh. classes and in support classes. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Carolina. Excellent, Oscar. Carolina. Then Chuck. Okay. Teacher, do you have to review all the homework of the students? Usually, I have to review all the homework of students. Yes, I have to. Very good, Caro. Excellent. Chavez and then Stephanie Michelle. Teacher, do you have to do you have to pay bills? <laughs> yes, I have to, Chavez. And gracias por recordármelo. <laughs> yes, I have to. Thank you. All right, Stephanie Michelle. Uh, teacher, do you have to drink coffee in the morning? I don't have to because I don't like coffee, Stephanie. <laughs> okay, All right, but I don't have to. Thank you. All right, Rosalina, tell me. Rosalina? Excuse me. Yes, go ahead. You have Rosalina. it? Excuse Check. me? You have it? Do I have pets? Yeah. Yes, I do. Uh, what the name? Ah, Toto and Toti. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Ahora, yeah. Rosalina, in that case, have es yes. nada más de posesión, no de obligación. Ah, okay. Nada más mm -hmm. me pregunta, do you have pets? ¿Verdad? Y le digo, yes, yeah. I do. All right, mm -hmm. ahora usted me dice, usted debe sacar a los perros por decir algo. Do you have to walk the dogs? I have to walk the dogs uh -huh. Uh -huh. every day. All right, very okay. good. Thank you, Nina, Xiomara, and then Yvette. Do you have to teach another language? No, I don't have to because I don't speak another language. <laughs> very okay. good, thank you. Yvette, your question. Okay, teacher, do you have to work tomorrow? 
I know because it's a sweat. <laughs> it's a national okay. holiday. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Sorry. All right. Very good. Thank you. Nice question. Gabriel. Gabriel, eh, está apagado su micrófono. Eh, paso, paso mejor. Okay. Está bien. No te preocupes, está bien. That's okay. A ver, me falta Yes. Do you have to buy in the market? Yes, I have to. It's cheaper. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, very good. Okay, me faltan todavía por ahí. Verónica, Edwin, Luis Abrego, Carla, Kenya. Yes. Yo. Yes, Maylin. Okay. Yeah. Do you have to travel to work? Do you have to? Travel to work? Um, no, I don't have to commute because I teach online. All right, very, very good. Thank you, Maylene. All right, who else? Me faltan todavía algunos. Okay, Ivania. Uh, do you have to laundry? Do I have to do laundry? Yes, I have to. In the machine? Yes, I have to. <laughs> All right, very good. Anybody else? Carlita? Pero? Do you have to watch horror movies? Ah, no, I don't have to. I don't like horror movies. No duermo después, pero. Or I don't have to watch them. All right, very good. Kenya? Do you have to go to the supermarket tomorrow? Yes, I have to. Yes, I have to go to the supermarket tomorrow. Yes. All right. We're making a special meal tomorrow. Very good. Thank you. Edwin. Do you have to happy today? Do I have to? Do you have to happy today? Me pierdo con lo otro que me está preguntando. Le, le escucho hasta do you have to y luego no, no, no le escucho bien. Do you have to happy today? Ah, happy, de feliz. All right. Yeah. Do, we, do I have to be happy today? Yeah, I think so. I have to be happy yeah. every day. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. Yes, let's try my best, Edwin. Very good. Okay. Anybody else? Thank you. Anybody else? All right. Very good. Carlita, your question, Carla. Do you have to get up early? Every day or tomorrow? <laughs> every day. Yes, every day. Yes, I have to wake up early every day. Yes. All right. But tomorrow, no, I don't have to. All right. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Great, guys. Very good. So that is the way you ask a question. Yo sé que Gabriel no se preocupe. Usted no estuvo en clases. All right. La forma de preguntar es con el do you. El do, en todo caso, porque es una pregunta for me. So you say, do you, and then have to. Y después va otro verbo. Do you have to go? Do you have to cook? Do you have to study? Do you have to watch TV? Do you have to read? O lo que usted vaya a preguntar. Entonces es el do, you, have to. Y luego otro verbo, Gabriel, ¿de acuerdo? All right. Okay, great thing. Yeah, very nice. Okay, guys, so let's go now to the book. And this is what we began yesterday before we went off um, from class yesterday, okay? If you notice here, we're doing can, all right? Can one person store? Yes, he can or no, he can't, all right? Now here, I told you yesterday that when we use can, it's a modal verb, okay? Now, modal verbs, they have different uses. In the case of can, it's a modal verb to express ability, but also it expresses possibility, all right? In this context, like how we have it in the book, can is for possibility, all right? So here you have can for information. Where can I stock all the new products? When can she stock all the new products? Can for information, we have to add a WH question. 
All right, can be when, where, uh, who, all right? So we can say, who can help me? I'm asking for information, all right? Where can I do it? When can you go? You're asking for information and you're using can. If you use can for information, you need to add a WH question before, okay? And then we have can for possibility. And I say, can you stock all the new products? Can she stock all the new products? Can we stock all the new product? Okay, so we can use can for information, for possibility, and also for ability, all right? But right now we're not talking about ability. We're talking about can for possibility and can for information, all right? Igual, because it's a modal verb, can is for everybody. No le va a poner nada, no le va a quitar nada. Can you, can I, can she, can he, can we, can they? Everybody, all right? Después, el siguiente verbo, o el verbo que va a usar, no necesita nada porque ya lleva el can. Can he stop? Ya no digo, can he stops? Or can she plays? No, can she play tomorrow? All right. So here we have can, and it doesn't change for anybody. Okay. Do you guys understand that? Yes, no, so, so. Yeah. All right. Very good. Let's see. Uh, we're going to do some, uh, before we do this exercise, vamos a ver aquí. Nina, um, yes, can, Nina, can you come to my house tomorrow? Mm. Yes, I can. Okay, thank you. All right, it's a possibility because it's a possibility, yeah. it's 50 50. Yes, Nina can say, Yes, teacher, I can, or no, teacher, I can tomorrow, maybe on Saturday. All right. Yes, very good. Let's see. Carolina, I have this report and it's in English. Can you translate it for me? Yes, I can. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right, Willie. Um, Willie, my, my car is broken. Can you fix it? Yes, I can. Oh, great. Thank you. All right. I don't need a mechanic anymore. Willie's going to help me now. Very good. Thank you. All right. Chavez, um, can you, um, what, Chavez, can you, um, can you give me a ride tomorrow morning? Yes, I can, teacher. All right, thank you. All right, you guys are very helpful. Everybody's saying yes to everything. I like that. All right, let's see. Luis, um, can you can you send the report tomorrow at 6 a.m.? Yes, I can. All right, very good. All right, so here we're not, thank you guys. So here we're not using can for ability, we're using can for possibility, all right? Of course, if you are not able to do it, you say, no, I'm sorry, I can't. Cuidado con eso. Por ejemplo, si yo le vuelvo a preguntar a Carolina, Carolina, can you translate this document for me? And she can't, no por no capacidad, sino que por no tiene tiempo por decir algo, usted no puede decir, no, I can't. Solo así, porque soy muy pesado. All right, entonces yo le digo, Carolina, can you translate this document for me? The, si es negativo, you can say, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't have time. I'm sorry, uh, I'm busy. Uh, I can't right now, but I can help you tomorrow. All right, entonces no solo podemos decir, no, I can't. Porque soy pesado, es como que usted está molesto o molesta. Es like, oh, you okay? So I'm not going to ask for help anymore, okay? So you need to be careful, all right? Obviamente, you can say, no, I can't, pero no tan blunt, all right? You have to be nice, okay? You understand that? Yes, vamos a ver. Hoy, todas quiero que sean no, okay? Porque todas fueron sí. A ver, Nina, can you come to my house tomorrow? Sorry, I cannot 
is here. Okay, that's okay, Rosa Lina. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Willy, que se me hizo Willy. Willy, can you fix my car? I'm sorry. I can. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. Very good. Let's see. Um, Caro, can you translate this document into Japanese? Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. I don't have time today. If if I can, I can tomorrow if you need it. Okay, it's great. Okay. Thank you. Yes, that would be perfect. Thank you, Caro. All right. So there are many, many ways to say no. All right. Entonces, cuando alguien le pregunte a usted, can you do it? If it's negative, usted puede decir no, pero adórnelo. All right, say, I'm sorry. De entrada, usually we say, oh, I'm very sorry, or I'm sorry I can't, but, all right, uh, but I can help you tomorrow. I'm sorry I can't, I don't have time right now. Por lo general, damos una excuse, all right? We just, we just don't say, can you, I don't know, can you do this for me? No, I can't. All right, es como que, okay, I'm not gonna ask you anymore for any help, okay? Is that clear? We understand? Yes? All right, very good. Okay, so here we go, guys. Let's work on this right now. Just give me a second. All right. Yeah, let's work on this. Esto es corto. All right, pero igual. I want you to socialize it. Compartanlo. Eh, lo van a hacer juntos en grupo. La idea es ir leyendo y definir cuál sería la pregunta. All right. Read the following statements to write a question about it. Ya tenemos la respuesta. Necesitamos la pregunta. All right. So that's what we're going to do right now in our groups. Ahí lo tienen en sus grupos en, en su libro anyway. All right. So let me see here. Nos faltan varios ahora. Y las otras mañana, not today. <laughs> All right. Vamos a ver. All right, guys, let's go. Ya los voy a sacar en un ratito, les doy tiempo. Hi, me llamaron. Yes, teacher. Uh, I have a question. Yes, Carlos. Uh, using can for information and can for possibility. Uh -huh. uh, Se puede utilizar cualquiera de las dos, ¿verdad? Uh, sí, dependiendo de la respuesta. Ah, ok. okay. Uh -huh, porque, de, por ejemplo, number one says you can store them in the back room. Por la respuesta, me inclino que sería can for information. 
can you information? Ajá, solo que como es, eh, ahí está dando dónde lo puede cortar, ¿verdad? O almacenar. Entonces, lo más probable es que pregunté a dónde puedo almacenar tal cosa. ¿A dónde puedo almacenar? Uh -huh. Ok. ¿A dónde puedo almacenar? Ok. Sí. Where can I store? Uh -huh. Yeah, para que la respuesta sea you can store them in the back room. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Where I can...
Hi, Kenya. Hi, Kenya. Hello, teacher. Ay, es que hasta la compu me está fallando. Ah, no le creo. Y habían terminado. Perdón. No, si me de hace rato me salí porque me sacó la, mi, mi computadora. Ah, ok. ¿Y con quién estaba? Todavía no, este. ¿No había ingresado a los grupos? No, ninguno. Ah, ok, ok. Tranquila. Ya en un minutito lo saco. Vaya, está bien. Gracias. Bueno. Dice, como me perdí en la explicación del where y del when, ¿en qué momento voy a ocupar el where y el when? Requiere la información dependiendo si dice dónde puedo o cuándo puedo. Ah, perfecto. Usted puede decir, where can I do it? Y le digo, ah, you can do it at the school, or when can I do it? Ah, you can do it on Monday. Uh -huh. Okay, va a depender de la, de la información que usted está requiriendo. ¿Y cuando comienza en CAN? Solo es para posibilidad. Ah, perfecto. Ajá. Ajá. Excellent. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Did you finish? Yes, yes teacher. Very good. All right. So number one. It said, uh, no la voy a compartir para poderlos ver aquí. Solo les digo, the answer was, you can store them in the back room. What is the question? Question, who's going to give me the question? Can okay. you store them in the back room? E excuse me, Nina? Can you store them in the back room? Segura, Nina. Esa es la pregunta, can you store them in the back room? Y la respuesta es, you can store them in the back room. Ajá. Uh -huh. Segura. Are you sure? <laughs> I, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. And because if you uh, 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 question me, maybe I have some mistake. <laughs> yes. It's I know. Carito, don't laugh at <laughs> It's okay. A ver. No, I'm so sorry, Nina. No es por mala, sino que es como que. I know, I know. Que es my, 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 Are you sure? My, pues no. It's my weakness, the buena. grammar. No, no, you no. know the grammar. Yes. It's my debility. I know, I know. A ver, Luis tenía la mano levantada. A ver, Luis, ¿cómo la tiene usted? Okay, teacher. Yo, no, yo para la, para la segunda, pero es que la hicimos junto con, con Nina. Ah, pero, sí. pero, <laughs> <risa> Vamos a ver. Pero yo creo que la tenemos mal entonces. Lo que pasa es que si se pongamos, a, ya, vamos, ya voy caritos, pongamos atención en la respuesta. Miren, dice, y tú tienes store them in the back room. Yo le estoy dando información a dónde o de dónde lo puedo guardar. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si yo le digo, la puede, puede guardar. Ah, ah. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué I me ha usted? Es que es que tomamos el, el, el al final le pusimos el mismo el mismo cómo se llama el complemento que tiene ahí la, la respuesta. Ajá. And you store them in the bathroom. Entonces ahí es donde pierde un poquito el sentido porque es como que yo le digo 
eh, le, dentro de mi pregunta le estoy dando la respuesta. ¿Me entiendes? Así es. Y si yo le digo, por ejemplo, sí. ah, yo vivo en Santa Tecla, ¿qué me preguntó usted? ¿Dónde vive? Exacto, muy bien, perfecto Luis. Entonces yo le digo, ¿los puede guardar en, en, el, en el cuarto de atrás? Ah. ¿Qué me preguntó? Ah, okay. And then, and then the, the, the question, can you store them? No, sí casi. No. Casi, casi. Ya vamos llegando, pero necesito. Can you... Ok, de qué es, de qué es. All right. Acuérdense oh. que la, mi, yo en mi respuesta le dije, los puede guardar en el cuarto de atrás. ¿Qué me preguntó? Can you store them? Pero antes de eso, para que yo le diga en el cuarto de atrás, ¿a qué, le, qué él me preguntó? Ah. Where can you uh -huh. store the I know? Yeah, I got it. Okay. okay. <laughs> where can I store them? Mm -hmm. Where can I store them? Ese them no sabemos si es cajas, eh, laptops, lo uh -huh. que sea. Pero where can I store them? Para que la respuesta sea, you can store them in the back room. De acuerdo. Okay. Yeah. All right, ¿no lo tienen así? Where can I store them? Carito, of course. Yes, all right. ¿Y los demás y las demás? Carla, ¿cómo la tenía, Carla? Yo sí la tenía. Where can I store them? Excellent, very nice. Stephanie, Michelle, ¿me iba a decir algo? La tenía incorrecta. ¿Cómo la había puesto, Stephanie? También, can I store in the back? Mm -hmm. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Si fuera que no hay store, les voy a dar una clave. Si dijera que mm -hmm. la, la pregunta fuera, que no hay store them in the back room, mi respuesta tiene que empezar con yes o con no. Es una yes no question. Yeah. All right, pero en este caso la respuesta era, you can store them in the back room. ¿Verdad? Entonces necesitamos una doble yeah. question. All right. Excellent. Very good. Veamos number two. Yes, she can. She can sign the form. A ver, who wants to do number two? Volunteers, number two. Me, teacher. Excellent, Willie. Can she sign the form? Yes, huh? can she sign the form. Yes, she can. She can sign the form. All right, very good. ¿Alguna otra posibilidad? Anybody else? ¿Solo esa pusieron? Me, teacher. Um... Uh, can she apply for a vacancy? Me perdí el sonido un ratito. Repíteme la puerta. Can she apply for a vacancy? Can she apply for a vacancy? Vacancy, yes. Um, <clears throat> yes, yeah, she can. She can sign the form, pero se va fuera de contexto un poco, maybe. Yes. A ver, por la respuesta. Uh, Solo lo hubiéramos dejado con yes, she can. Obviamente está abierto a la cualquier posibilidad. All right, pero estamos hablando precisamente de firma. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. Sí, right. sure. Yes, Carlos. Podría ser entonces, she can apply. Can no. she apply? Apply, sir. Ajá, pero igual, Carlos, no es que esté mala. Lo que pasa es que por la respuesta, okay. digamos que en, en el buen salvadoreño no pega. Mm -hmm. All okay. Right. Yes, okay, very good. A ver, eh, number three, uh, it said no, it's, it's, no, we it's, it's, yes, Nina. Excuse me, and then what is the correct answer? No, question in the number two. Can she sign the form? Can she sign? Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Number three. No, we can't. We can move all the televisions. Who wants to do number three? Okay, Oscar. I. Yo le puse. We can move all the TVs. Lo puso sí. en forma de pregunta o en forma de oración afirmativa, Oscar. De pregunta. Dígamelo otra vez. We can move all the TVs. Si puso we can move all the TVs, es, uh, es oración, no es pregunta. Uh -huh. 
Tiene que darle mm. vuelta, Oscar. Can we? Ajá. Can we? Can we move all the TVs? Yes, can, can we move all the TVs? Or can you move all the TVs? Cualquier de esos dos pronombres es válido. Can we move okay. all the TVs? Or can you move all the TVs? Yes? Okay. Excellent, thank you. Edwin, you have a question? Or you want to do the next one? Uh, number four. Uh -huh. We, when can they peel up? The boxes. When can they pile up the boxes? Excellent. Yes. When can they pile up the boxes? Para que la respuesta sea, they can pile up the boxes tomorrow. Yes. Very good, Edwin. Okay. Todos la tienen así. When can they pile yes. up all the boxes? Yes. Gabriel, you have a question? Uh, number six, can you give me information about this product? Okay, yeah. In number, ya vamos a hacer las cinco, pero las seis que está haciendo Gabriel es, can you give me information of, of the product or about the product? Yes, very good. Excellent, Gabriel, very nice. All right, what about number five? ¿Quién me hace las cinco? Okay, Simara. Where can I store the 90 cars? The, yeah, where can I store the 90 cars? Oh my goodness, you can store the 90 cars on a warehouse. Yes, Yomara, very good. Okay, nos quedaron claros todas las, las preguntas de esas? Yeah, all right, very good. Entonces, en este caso, depending on the question, I mean, depending on the answer, mm -hmm. that is yeah. your question, okay? Yeah. All right, very good. Acuérdense que si dan más información, probablemente es una information question that you need to use where, when, who. Si dijera, ah, Gabriel Beltran can help you. La pregunta es, who can help me? All right. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Oh, or um, you can take the test on Friday. When can I take the test? All right. Uh, and so you need to make the answer. Yes? Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría la primera? Where? Where can, where can, I, oh. where can I store them? Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Yep, you're welcome. All right, very good. Okay, got questions about this exercise? No? All right, I'm going to take attendance right now because I'm going to send you again to your groups and I want you to work on something else related to Ken and Kent. Okay, so just give me a second. I'm going to take the second <clears throat> right now. Let's see. Carlos Eduardo Artiga de Rios. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego. Yes, teacher. Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. I'm here, teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Stephanie Lisset Molina Rodriguez. Present. Stephanie Michelle Zuniga Hueso. Present. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present, teacher. Fania Jamilet Dominguez Hernández. Present, teacher. Ed Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present, teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Kenia Claribel. Uh, Peña. Yeah, All right. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Mardoqueo Ramirez Pérez. Meilín Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. I hear. Rosa, Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisnero Rosales. Present. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. Present teacher. Carlos Josué Chávez. Carla Elizabeth Cisnero. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Very good, guys. Just give me one second here. 
Karen Beatriz is not in. Karen no está. All right, okay, that's okay. Okay, so right now we're going to do this. Just give me a second. Hello, Sanai. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Lo que pasa que oh, okay. I'm sorry. Pensé que me había caído la internet. No, it's you're here. We're here. That's okay. I don't know why is this doing this to me right now. Oh no, no, like this. Wait, guys. I'm sorry, but it's not working for me for some reason. Give me one second, guys, please. Now it's working. Okay, I'm gonna show you this right now. And I want you to take a picture and send it, one picture and send it to the group so everybody can work on that. And I'm not gonna explain it to you right now what you have to do. We have to do this. Can you do that? All right, that is the, that is the main question of the exercise. Can and can't for possibility, all right? It says choose can or can't to make true sentences. For example, you're gonna read it together, all right? In Australia, you can or can't buy kangaroo meat in a supermarket. Lo más probable que muchas de ellas no, sabe, no realmente no sepamos, all right? But the idea is to play a little bit, all right? Pero usted va a poner, si para usted en su grupo dicen, ah, yes, you can, all right? Entonces va a poner o su raya y, o solo se acuerda que puso, yes, you can, y si dicen, no, no creo, then you say, no, you can't. Y así van a ir con las 12 que están ahí. Le van a, creo que les va a salir en two pictures. All right? So can you take a picture right now, please? And send it to the group. Let me know so I can move it so you can take the other picture. Excellent. Very good. And then. Yes, teacher. Uh, you. And then this one. 10, 11, and 12. The other three. Okay. Ready? Ready, teacher. Excellent. All right. So what I want you to do, guys, is I want you to read the sentence and together in your group, you decide the answer. Can or can't. Okay. Don't Google it. Only think. I don't know if it, that it's a possibility. All right. When we come back, I will tell you the truth. Okay. Yes. Okay, sure. Sure. Answers or. Uh, yeah. Like. Remember that in this case, you can just underline, all right? Just can or can't. You don't have to Okay. Lo que pasa que no son preguntas exactas, ¿verdad? Sino que así de, ¿dónde podría, podría pasar esto en tal lado? All right, so you say yes. Yes, I, I can, it can happen or it cannot happen, okay? All right, guys, let's go back to the groups. Lo saco en 10 minutos. Evelyn no estaba, ¿verdad? Antes. No, teacher. Ah, ya. La voy a agregar a un grupo ahorita. De acuerdo. Eh, Kenia, usted estaba tampoco, ¿verdad, Kenia? No, no, no. Ahorita la agrego. Oscar, ¿ya estaba en algún grupo, Oscar? Sí, teacher. ¿En cuál estaba? ¿Se recuerda? Con sí, ¿cómo se llama? Bueno, no importa, lo con, voy a con Stephanie. Ah, vaya, ok. 
Y Carlos Abrego.
All right, guys, did you finish? Finish. Yes, We're finished. All right, very good. So let's check this. Um, give me one second here. All right, number one. Let me see here. Number one, uh, Chavez, can you read it? But read it with the answer that you chose, can or can't? Of, of course, teacher. Uh, uh, my answer is can. Okay, read the whole thing. I want to hear the whole the whole sentence. Oh, okay, okay. Let me check. Uh, let me see the the sentences. Uh, sería. Permítame. Okay, teacher. In in Australia, you can buy uh, you can buy a kangaroo meat in a supermarket. Okay. You can. So it's affirmative for you. Yes, All affirmative. Right. Okay, very good. What about the rest of you guys? Did you say can or can't? For me, not can, teacher. Okay, you can I say can't. Ah, all right. Ah, can't. For me, can't. Ah, okay. Can't. Okay. Well, according to the answers, la verdad, I don't know. All right, I've never been to Australia, but <laughs> according to the exercise, it's can. It says yes. Eating kangaroo is very common in Australia. All right. I see. Yeah, that's what it says. No me digan nada a mí. Es el ejercicio. Dice que sí. All right. So it says that it's very common. Tendríamos que preguntarle a alguien. A ver, Carolina. Sí, sí. Es en no, que les, di les dije que sí se podía comer canguro en Australia. <laughs> What about Era una posibilidad bastante. Number two. A ver, Carla Lizette. Léala toda ya con, su uh, con la que escogieron. Can or can't. Okay. In Vanuatu, no sé cómo se dice. Y yo. <laughs> okay. Yo lo voy a leer así. Yes. In Vanuatu, eh, an island in the South Pacific Ocean, you can't visit post office under the sea. So you said you can't. Can't. Ah, all right. Everybody says can't or someone yes. says can. Yes, can't. Yes, can't. Yes, yes, can't. Can. Yes, can. Okay. Okay. Look at this. This you buy a plastic postcard on the beach and swim down to the post office. So you can. Really? Uh, that's what it says. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So we need to, para empezar, we need to find out where that island is. Acuérdense que isla se dice island. All right. But yeah. Island, I, I remember island. Yes. Very good. Okay. Vamos a ver. Next one. Number three. Verónica, can you read number three for me, please? Vero? Entonces, por qué no, no, no le había escuchado Pero me escucha. Um, sí, sí. Ok. Sí. Yeah, creo que Vero está teniendo problema de, de red. A ver, um, someone else to do number three. ¿Alguien más que me ayude con la tres? Ok. <coughs> me, 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 me. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Number three. In Singapore, you can buy chewing gum at a new sack. Uh -huh. You can. Ah, all right. Para empezar, sabemos que es new sack. Eh, no, creemos que es como puesto de revistas algo kiosco. Así. es un kiosco very good alright mm -hmm. so in Singapore you can affirmative Carol right yeah. yes okay. yes yes teacher everybody agrees with Carolina yes <laughs> me too ok very good solo que les voy a contar a ver Carol deje de compartir ahí un segundo 
Según el ejercicio, la respuesta dice you can't. Why? Because chewing, chewing gum is illegal in Singapore. Oh, oh my God. Ah. It's just the exercise, all right? But maybe, all right? Oh. So it says that you cannot buy it because you it's can. All right. Okay. All right. All right. A ver, um, Stephanie Michelle, y después creo que Stephanie Lizette ya puede participar. Stephanie Lizette, sí. Number four. Yeah, en la, la cinco es usted, Stephanie Lizette. Stephanie Michelle, yes, do number four, please. Ok, en du, en, en Dubai, you can or cannot sky and sky at at I sport center. Uh -huh. um, uh, you can. So affirmative. Yes. Okay. All right. Everybody has affirmative or negative for that answer? Mm, affirmative. Affirmative. Ah, all right. Yes. And it says. Affirmative. It says, yes. It, this say uh, there is an indoor a ski hill in Dubai. Mm -hmm. All right. So there is an indoor. Uh, mm -hmm. mountain okay that's pretty cool all right number five is stephanie let's see you do number five now okay in brazil you can go to a restaurant where you pay for your food by the kilo by the kilo all right so that's positive or negative can It's positive for you? Yes? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. That is yes. You can buy your food by kilos. All right. Very good. Next one. Let's see. Elivaldo, can you read number six, please? It is in Sweden. 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 No, solo Sweden. Sweden. In uh -huh. Sweden, you can. Stay, stay in hotel made, in, made of ice. Made of ice, uh huh. Can or can't? Can. Possible. No. Can't. It's positive. Can. Elivaldo or is negative? Uh, possible. Yeah, it is positive. Yes, there is an, a hotel made of ice in Sweden. All right. That would be very cold to stay there. All right, next one. Let's see. Evelyn, can you read number seven? In India, you can have a hamburger at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Scan. Can it's affirmative? It's possible. Ah, all right. Everybody agrees with Evelyn? Is it possible? Yes. yes. We <laughs> yes, we answer no. Can't. Ah, why, Caro? Because in India the cows are sagradas. They're sacred. They're yes. holy. All right. Okay. Listen to the answer. It says you can buy a chicken burger. Yes. 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 But Hindus mm -hmm. don't eat beef, and Muslims don't eat pork. So there mm -hmm. are no hamburgers at McDonald's in India. All right, so you can have a chicken burger. <laughs> yeah, chicken burger, yeah. All right, very good. Next one, Nina, can you read number eight? I'm sorry, India. teacher, me, per me perdí. ¿Era así o no? No. Okay. No, no se puede. Es lo que se decía. Solo pueden comprar una chicken burger, but not a beef burger. All right. But, but, have, but, but have McDonald's. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Nina, okay. Number eight. eight. In England, you can leave your bags and mm, unattended. Sí, es que no, no veo la, la palabra unattended mm -hmm. in the train station. Mm -hmm. I think, yes, you can. Okay, and the rest of you guys, what do you say? Yes, can. Yeah. All right. 
Okay. According to this answer is no. Really? Uh -huh. Because, no porque nadie se la robe. <laughs> but it's because if the police finds unattended bags, they destroy them. All right, next one, Carlos Eduardo, can you do number nine, please? Perdón, ¿qué número me decía? Nine. Okay. Uh, in, in France, you can kiss on, the, on a train. <laughs> you can. Affirmative? Yes. Okay. All right. Everybody agrees with Carlos Eduardo? Yes. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <It's French. laughs> you know what? Listen to this. This said, technically, kissing was banned, fue prohibido, on all French uh, railways <laughs> in 1910. Uh, in as it was said to cause delays. La gente se retrasaba por estarse besando. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Now, también, obviamente, nadie le pone atención a esa ley. All right. So, okay. All right. Así porque nosotros decíamos es el beso francés, no pueden ah, prohibirlo. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nosotros decidimos que porque eh, como Ahí queda París, entonces, como decimos, el del amor, no sé qué, pensamos que era. Ya, yeah, all right, pero ya ven, existe esa ley. A ver, Xiomara, can you read number 10? No, sorry, number, ah, oh, yeah, number 10. In England. In England, uh huh. In England, you can or can't hunt, cook, and eat sweet. It, it swam, perdón, oía la, la imagen. Swam existe. Swam. Ajá. In England, you can or can't hunt, cook, and eat swams. The answer is can't. Can't? Negative? Negative. Ah, everybody agrees? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's true. No se puede. You can't. Pero saben por qué? No? Dice aquí, because swans in England, swans in England all belong to royalty. Oh, huh. You can eat them, but the queen. <laughs> Así es que si usted no es de la realeza, you cannot hunt or cook a swan. All right? Mm -hmm. Only the queen. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, next one, the last one. Yvette, can you read number 11? Dice, dice, dice negativo. Sí, o sea, es you can't. In England, you can't. Ah, okay, thank you. All right, Yvette, can you read 11, please? Okay, teacher. In Russia, you can um, or can't marry your cousin. Uh -huh. um, um, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's actually true. It's not illegal. You can get married with your cousin. Oh, right. perdón. Uh, sí. It says it's true. Sí. <laughs> sí, no, no, no sabemos, pero nosotros asumimos que sí. <laughs> que sí se podía. All right. I don't know. All right, and the last one, vamos a ver. Number 12, who wants to read the last one? Wilfredo, do you want to read the last one, please? Uh, in America, is your hips an animal? Why? Your car and... It dies. It dies. Can tie the animal? Uh-huh. Home? In how many ways you? Uh-huh. Can. Can't. Ah. Can't. Okay. According to the answer, it says you can actually, you must report to the police. But otherwise, you can take it home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can take it home. 
But you have to report to the police. Aquí se imagina todos los perritos que se mueren en el highway. <laughs> All right, nobody reports it to the police. All right, very good, guys. Okay, so this was just a little bit of um, guessing because we don't know. All right, but it's a little bit about general culture anyway. All right, let's go back here, guys, to the book. Okay, so here we finished this already and we were talking about can or can't for possibilities, all right? Now, here we have this, it says, I will be able to ask and give information about once or others shipment, all right? Brainstorm about the different methods that your workplace sends products or materials to others. Here we have, this is a shipping label, all right, cuando usted la va a enviar. So here we have the address from Traverse Inc. to, in this case, is Litoral Road, La Unión, El Salvador. All right, so this is like the information from and to. Then we have the tracking number, que sería el número de rastreo. That's the tracking number, the quantity, 65 units, the shipment, 7A4. This is just the code for the sender, que es el que envía. All right, and then we have the date and the net weight is 120 pounds. All right, now, here we have, um, what is the shipping address and what is the mailing address? How many units are in the package and what is the manufacturing date? So, de esto de acá arriba, usted va a sacar esta información de aquí. Les doy unos tres minutitos para que lo hagamos. Lo hacemos acá individual, all right? From this, ex, from this shipping label, you get this information, okay? Let's work on that right now. Guys, do we have number one first? What is the shipping address? 
Mi teacher. Eh, bueno, usted me corrige, estoy, estoy equivocado. Traverse, ENC 23, Glenway, San Carlos, CA, 0570. Yeah, 0570, yeah. CA is California. Very good, yes. And what is okay. the mailing address? What would, thank you, Willie. What would be number two? Who wants to do number two? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Stephanie. Eh, pero no, no sé si está bien, me corrí. Literal road number. Uy, se me ha olvidado cómo se dice. 34. 34. 34. por la Unión, El Salvador. Very good, thank you. All right, how many units are in the package, guys? Yes, Carolina. 65. 65 units, yes. And what is the manufacturing date? <clears throat> 12 April. Uh -huh. April 12th, yes. Mm -hmm. 20? 13. 2013, yes. All right, very good. Excellent, guys. Very good. So this is just an information of the um, shipping label. Taro, did you have a question? Carolina? No, teacher, solo está bajando la manito. Okay. Gracias. That's okay. All right, guys. Very good. So now let's talk about this for a second. It says how to use be going to. Antes de pasar a este tema, el can for possibility or for information. Is it clear or do you have any questions? For everyone, is it okay? Hola, yes, no, so, so. So, so. Oh, okay, teacher. All right, okay. Nina, eh, hay algo que le queda, que usted dice, ah, por esto no lo termino de entender, o es just to practice, Nina? I think it's practice, because uh, it's practice, it's, yes. You explain who, I, where, I understand, I got it, but I need to practice. Okay. I agree with Nina. Yeah, all right, it's just a matter okay. of practicing, all right? But it's pretty straightforward, all right? Just remember that you can use it to express possibility, to express information, or to ask for information. And of course, you can also use it for abilities, all right? But yeah, you need to practice it a little bit more, but that you're getting the hang of it. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit about the be going to, all right? So before we see this, voy a dejar de compartir un segundo. When we talk about be going to, what tense is that, guys? Be going to. ¿En qué tiempo estamos? ¿Qué tiempo verbal? Ideas? Going to. Uh -huh. Where is it? What is it? I, I think that is present but it's going to is something that i'm going to do um approximately okay all right i think it's the future teacher. you think it's the future Sumana? all right anybody else any other ideas with the use of be going to who is going to uh -huh. I think it's Fisher too. Okay, yes, it is. Very good. When we use be going to, we're talking or we're making reference to future. All right, so you say, for example, I am going to uh, sleep late tomorrow. Okay, because I don't have classes tomorrow in the morning. All right, or you say, ah, I am going to work next Saturday, okay? So when we use be going to, le llamamos be going to porque tenemos que usar el verbo to be. I am going to play uh, basketball with my children on Sunday. He is going to learn another language next year. She is going to travel to Panama next summer, 
All right. So whatever you use, tenemos que usar el verbo be. Por eso le llamamos be going to. All right. Obviamente, cuando lo conjugo, entonces quito el be y lo conjugo. Con am, is, or are. Okay. But what is um, saying or expressing is future. It's a future connotation. Okay. Now, this is the structure. So let's voy a compartir aquí. All right, we say be going to, all right? So in other words, we say, I am going to go to the beach next week, all right? I'm just gonna make it bigger here. Or I say, she is going to plan a nice, party okay they are going to um uh they're going to i don't know to send the new products they are going to send the new products next uh monday all right so be going to is the, the name of it, okay? But then when you are making sentences, you need to change the be with am, is, or are. Recuerde que puede ser nombre o pronombre. Yo puedo ser Carolina is going to plan a nice party. O si Carolina es mi hermana, y digo my sister is going to plan a nice party. Puede ser nombre o pronombre. All right, pero el verbo to be que le corresponde es is, because it's third person singular. We are going to uh, rest tomorrow because we're not going to have classes. Okay, so here, eso es lo que primero tenemos que identificar. Si usted va a usar el be going to, obviamente tiene que usar el verbo be conjugado. Am, is, are. Luego le sigue el going to. Y luego le sigue otro verbo en infinitivo. I am going to go. She is going to plan. They are going to send. Y de ahí para allá is the complement. Whatever you want to say. Ahora, everything is related to future. Okay? Yes? Do you guys understand? Yes or so? Yeah? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Very good. Okay. Pregunto. Y entonces el will, no will, ¿verdad? Will, ¿cómo lo vamos a usar entonces? Si también es future. Will or be going to? ¿Cuál, teacher? Explíqueme. Ya me confundí yo. Look, teacher. El, el to go es si usted ya tiene una acción que la tiene predeterminada de hacerla. Y el will, si, la, si es como sería o no sería. Ok, very good, Oscar. Thank you. Anybody, I creo que Luis está, iba a decir algo también. Eh, teacher, es, es igual a lo que dijo Oscar. Esa es la idea que yo tenía. Uh -huh. Muy bien, yes. Anybody else? Very good. Ok, sí, ahí vamos con lo que decía Oscar y Luis, ¿verdad? El will también nos denota futuro, ¿ok? Ahora, la diferencia es que el be going to es algo casi más, casi un 100% certero de que va a suceder, mientras que el will no. All right, el will es como un 50-50. Aparte, el be going to es algo ya estipulado, algo ya planeado. El will no es algo espontáneo, ¿ok? Algo que se dice, hey, vamos ahorita a los planes a comer pupusas, pero no lo tenía planeado. All right. So that's when you use will. Cuando usted promete, ocupa el will. No el be going to. Cuando usted dice, mm, tiene una... Will, teacher, will es como un compromiso. No, no, no. Will es como algo que pueda suceder como pueda que no. A menos que usted prometa. Yo le digo, I will help you. Le prometo que le voy a ayudar. All right, I will help you. Eso ahí sí es como más un compromiso y dice, yo le ayudaré. Right, no usamos, I'm, I am going to help you. No, decimos, I will help you. Ok. Y es algo más espontáneo. Planeado. Dígame, Kenny. 
Es como una posibilidad, entonces. Claro, sí. sí Sería el... como algo próximo. No, no, de proximidad no tiene, digamos, diferencia entre el will y el going to. Ambos pueden ser de aquí a un año y de aquí a diez años. Pero si, por ejemplo, usted ha ahorrado, pasa ahorrando tres años para irse a México eh, y ya lo planeó, entonces es algo que usted va a decir, I am going to go to Mexico. All right, in three years, porque usted está hasta ahorrando para ello, ¿ok? Ahora, si usted piensa, mm, sí, I will go to Mexico in three years, puede ser, pero puede ser que no, que al momento pueda cambiar de planes, ya no se vaya a México, sino que se vaya a Argentina. All right, no tiene nada que ver con tiempo, sino más con certeza, más con algo planeado, algo con más con, eh, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Espontáneo, ¿ok? Sí. Yeah. Yes, Oscar. Y si yo digo, I will go este, in the San Miguel on Saturday. Pueda que vaya como pueda que no. Sí. Puede ser como un tal vez. Sí, es como, voy a ir, pero pueda que al final diga, Ay, ya no tengo ganas. Muy lejos, amigo. Sí, tal vez voy. Ok, si usted está seguro, Oscar, que ya, ya habló, con, por decir, con su familia que va a llegar o con sus amigos que va a ir. Entonces dice, I'm going to go to San Miguel. All right. Ahora, que por lluvia, que se arruinó el carro, que cualquier cosa pasó en último momento, ya es otra cosa. Pero usted tenía planeado ir a San Miguel el fin de semana. Entonces dice, I am going to go to San Miguel. Ok. Ok. All right. Very good. Any more questions about the use of will I'm going to? Everything ok? Yes, ok, all right. Acuérdense que esto hoy, por ejemplo, es como la, la, la intro del going, be going to. Obviamente el lunes, porque mañana we don't have classes, we're going to continue talking about be going to. Ok, now let's go back then to this. Veamos acá. Put the words in order, then answer the questions. Pero antes de ver esto, perdón, vamos a leer acá arriba. Positive. A ver, Carla Lisette, léame las tres primeras donde dice positive. And then mailing read the last two. Siempre on under positive. Okay. I am going to give you the information. The airline. Airline, airline uh -huh. is going to export the shipping. Sh shipping. Uh -huh. You are packing your packages. Packages are going to area tomorrow. Tomorrow, very good. Yes, Maylene, continue. Thank you, Carla. Um, where is the package going to arrive? Okay. Who, who is going to deliver it? Ah, who's going to deliver it? Very good. Thank you. All right. Let's see, Gabriel. Can you read negative? The three negatives, Gabriel. Okay, I'm not going to give you the information. The airline is going to transport the shipping. You package, packages. Okay, packages aren't going to arrive tomorrow. Excellent, thank you. All right, so here we have positive and negative. Como estamos trabajando con el verbo be, no vamos a usar obviamente el don't ni el doesn't, sino que solo usamos el not. I'm not going to give you the information. The airline isn't or is not going to transfer the shipping. Your packages aren't going to arrive tomorrow. All right? Para decir que no. No, sus paquetes o sus uh, pedidos no llegarán mañana, no arribarán mañana. All right, so your packages aren't going to arrive tomorrow. So when you make negatives, that's how you make it. When you make it affirmative, you use the subject plus be plus going to plus a verb and then the information that you need. All right, now here we have this one. Vamos a trabajar en estas tres. A ver cómo nos resulta. All right, son preguntas. All right, acuérdense que cuando tenemos preguntas, vamos a poner el to be primero. La idea es hacer la pregunta y luego contestarla. Pero hagamos primero la pregunta a ver cómo nos va. Tenemos todavía un par de minutitos. Let's work here.
All right, let's check number one. Who wants to do number one? Me teacher, pero no sé si está bien. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Carolina, you can do number two. Where are going to pick up the package? Where? Well, no, es, um, no, me faltó el day. Ajá, muy bien, where, ajá, y luego? Where they are going to pick up the package. Okay. Where mm -hmm. are they? Where are they? Ajá, going to pick up the package, very good. All right, okay. thank you. Carolina, <laughs> can you do number two? Okay, teacher. Who is going to receive the shipping? Uh, Carolina is going to receive the shipping. <laughs> Very good. Thank you for the answer already. All right. And number three, who wants to do number three? Con eso cerramos. Okay. When is, when is going to arrive the new material? Mm, ¿Segura, Nina? No. <laughs> All right. For that reason, I participate because I need to yes. learn. Yes. That's grammar. Good. Okay. <laughs> When is the new material going to arrive? Ah. Uh, so, um, excuse me, Peggy. Carito, viste? Repeat, please. Re teacher. Yes, teacher, repeat, please. When yeah. is the new material going to arrive? Ah, uh, why, teacher? Es, es la misma estructura, Nina, porque lleva when, mm -hmm. luego el verbo be, ¿verdad? When is the new material sería el sujeto. Como cuando decimos when is, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. When is the new material? Material, ok. El new material yes. puede ser reemplazado por it, por ejemplo. When is it going to arrive? Ok. Ok, Nina. Yeah, uh, yes, because I, I I look at the in the positive the last one mm -hmm. who is going to deliver it. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Ah, all right, okay. The, the new material, but I understand when you talk talking okay. about it. Very good. Igual, don't worry about it. We're gonna keep on checking uh or doing more exercises on Monday, okay? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yes, yeah, so today was just the intro for the going to. Si les quedó alguna duda, no se preocupen. El lunes igual, we're going to see this again, all right, with more details and more exercises. I'm going to take the last attendance so you guys can go. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Berrios. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Mármol. Hello, teacher. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. Present teacher. Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Present teacher. Stephanie Lisset Molina Rodríguez. Present. Stephanie Michelle Zuniga Hueso. Present. Gabriel Bertrand Pérez. Present teacher. Vania Yamile Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Beth Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Enia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Present teacher. Alfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Good night. Yeah, good night to you too. Mardoqueo Ramirez Perez. Meilín Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramirez. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Present teacher. Ana Elizabeth Cisnero Rosales. Present. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Carla Lisa García Lemus. Present teacher. Ana Luis Antonio Martínez. Present teacher. All right. A ver, Carlos Mauricio no está hoy, ¿verdad? All right, that's okay. That's okay. All right, guys. So thank you so much. Um, si le toca descansar, disfruten. Y si no, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Eh, <laughs> igual el lunes, okay? Bye, guys. Good night.
Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.